I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your beginner TRX workout. So in this workout, I'm gonna be showing you the basics of how to use the TRX suspension straps. We'll get a workout, but within it, I'm really gonna break it down, show you some form, and really make sure that you know what you're doing before you move on to other TRX workouts. So, first things first, let's talk about our TRX straps. So, TRX stands for Total Body Resistance Training, and it's suspension training. So a lot of what we're doing, we're hanging from the straps, or we're using it for balance. So first of all, know that it's very different for your body. So if you've never done it before, it's gonna feel different, you'll feel a little off balance, totally fine, you're doing it right. The other thing to know is that you wanna make sure you know how to adjust your straps. So because I'm not in your space with you with your straps, I can't tell you exactly where they need to be, but I can give you an idea. So first thing, you wanna get familiar with your how to adjust. So on this version, I'm gonna pull up on the buckle and then pull up on my black tab to adjust it higher. And then to go lower, I'm gonna pull up and then pull down. So there are some versions that have a buckle that you push. Maybe you have that version. Um, and then you wanna see where your anchor point. So mine is a little high for my gym space, maybe not as high as uh, some other gyms, but I'm gonna have it there, but I also have limited range of motion back here. So for my standing stuff, I have it almost up to the top point. So you just wanna figure out what works for you. If you have a door frame, you might also want the straps almost completely pulled up. You just wanna make sure you have space. So if you're standing this way, your feet are not touching the door, you've got a little bit of space out and that you can always keep your straps tight. So we never wanna have slack. So here's what we don't wanna happen. Come all the way up here, you've got slack. So if that's the case, you wanna walk it back a little bit. And again, I'll talk you through these things as we go. But just knowing, spend some time getting to know your straps, how to adjust them. And then when we go down to the mat, I'll show you exactly where they need to be for that. Okay, the other thing to know is just be really aware of your posture. You'll hear me say, look at the anchor point. We always wanna have our eyes up, especially when we're doing our standing exercises. We wanna just make sure that we have good posture, our leg work, our upper body work, everything's in alignment, core is pulled in because core is working the entire time. Again, I'm gonna talk you through these things, but just wanted to give you a brief little overview before we start. Okay, so, Let's grab our straps and again, adjust them where they need to go. And we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up just to get the body moving. TRX is great for this because we can get really low and really stretch things out. So I'm just gonna sit in a little squat and reach up. So my elbows are in at the starting point and then when I sit, they're extending out just a bit, eyes up at the anchor and I'm gonna reach. So I'm really going for range of motion on this. I really wanna make sure I get low the nice thing about the straps is that we're able to get even lower than we normally could. So really use them to sit low and then raise. So we're just getting the blood flowing. Remember, we always want a dynamic warm up. We want blood flowing, muscles working, joints getting loose, and we'll save our stretching more towards the end. One more right here. And then I'm gonna sit back in my hips, drop my head a bit, and I'm just gonna open out my arms one at a time, looking over my shoulder. So again, we're going for mobility, flexibility, all these things that make the TRX great. And then bring it up, and I'm gonna sit low in that squat. I'm gonna do a little gorilla walk, so I'm kind of opening up my hips, getting low, just opening up those really tight muscles. Our hips and hip flexors are really tight. One more and then bring it up. Good, and then we're gonna flip it right around real quick, last thing, and grab our straps behind, anchor point is behind us, and I'm gonna open out in a little lunge. Arms go out to the side, really lengthen, opening up the hip flexors again, and stretching out the arms. And let's keep the same motion, hands over the head. Stretching it out. Not going too far forward in that front leg, but make sure, making sure we're getting the stretch. One more. Perfect, guys. So that's about all we need. We just wanna feel that the blood's flowing, everything's loose. Let's start with our T-Rex squat. Very basic exercise, and there's a million variations on it. We're gonna start with just your two-legged squat. So feet about shoulder width apart, looks very similar to your regular squat that you do in other exercises. Again, elbows are here, my straps are tight. I'm looking at the anchor, 
And then as I sit my hips back and low, my arms are gonna extend out. So a couple things we don't wanna do. We won't wanna be so far out that when we sit low, we let our head drop or our back drop. So we wanna be in just enough that the straps stay tight, but we can still extend out. And then again, really make sure you get low. This is the beauty of having these straps. In a normal squat, sometimes we have limited range of motion or we get really afraid to get low into those knees. You've got the straps for help, so don't worry about it. Just get down there. Remember, the lower we get, the more support we have in our hamstrings and our glutes, the better for our knees. So use these straps to really get good range of motion. So let's just go a few more, because again, we want to get a workout out of this too, even though we're also getting a lot of instruction and education with this video. Sitting low, remember all your basics from your squat. Pushing into the heels. I always say try to wiggle your toes and your shoe so we can push into the heels and really make sure we're activating the glutes and getting all the different parts of our leg muscles. And try and have a really nice light grip on these straps, guys. We wanna have the support for balance, but what I don't want you to do is pull yourself up with the straps. On the leg exercises, we wanna make sure our legs are doing most of the work. Certainly, if you get stuck, if you get down here and you don't feel like you have the strength, you can use those straps to help you get up. One more. Perfect, guys. All right, let's switch gears and go to our first upper body move, T-Rex row or low row. So, I'm gonna show you a modified version first. I'm gonna put one foot forward and then I'm gonna put one foot back so I can kind of lean and have a little bit of support on that back leg. And then, just like my regular row motion, my straps are tight, I'm gonna pull the elbows in, squeeze in the shoulder blades, and drop it down. So start here, just so you get a feel for it, especially if you're brand new to TRX. Notice my straps are staying tight. What I see of a lot of when I teach my classes is this, rounding in the wrist, or coming up where the straps get loose. That's what we don't wanna do. We wanna keep those muscles tight, straps tight the whole time. Imagine that you're doing your dumbbell row, or maybe your seated row, from the machine, squeezing the shoulder blades, activating all through the back. So if you're feeling good with this foot back here, take that foot forward, elbows come in, and lower it down. So you can see this is a little tougher, so you have lots of options. Again, keeping my wrist straight, squeezing the shoulder blades, and drop it down. Let's just get two more. And if this feels too easy, guys, you can always walk it forward, get even lower. If it feels too tough, you can always walk it back. Be here or have that foot behind. So there you go, options. Let's get a little stretch after that. Sit back into those hips, head dropped. Stretching is the best part of the T-Rex, so enjoy it. Okay, so let's go back to our squat. I'm gonna give you a version of a one-legged squat. So you see this? A lot in TRX, it's one of the best things you can do with it, one-legged squat, right? But that might be hard for a lot of us, especially if you're new to this. So I'm gonna have my right foot flat on the floor, pushing into the heel, it's doing most of the work. I'm gonna have my left toe just resting on the ground right next to it. And again, straps are tight, elbows in. I'm gonna sit low in a squat, so I have that left toe for balance, but I'm gonna push up through that right heel. So my right leg is doing the majority of the work, and this is a great way to transition into that one-legged squat, maybe eventually to a pistol squat, getting really low, but just pushing in that heel, but having that extra toe on the other side for a little bit of support. So just keep going and really focus. I want you to really think about that working leg. So really make sure the right leg is doing the work. Keep breathing. We'll just go a couple more. And you can see, guys, as you get more comfortable with this, you just lift that foot off the ground, right? You can even try that today, see how it feels. If you're feeling good, if you're used to exercise, this might be perfect for you. And relax. Perfect, let's go ahead and get that other side. So left foot doing the work, heel planted. We're gonna go onto the toe, and then we're gonna sit low. So right toe is just giving you a little extra support, Left leg doing the work, here we go. Sit low, bring it up. Again, looking up at those straps. My arms are extending as I go down, but I'm keeping my straps tight the whole time. And you may even feel already that sometimes that left one or one of our legs isn't as strong. That's why we do this. 
And make sure that you're staying focused, guys. So it's really important to be thinking about what you're working. If you wanna go ahead and try to lift that foot up, you can, you'll feel the difference. But no, you always have that toe to drop down if you need to, one more. Good, perfect. Nice work, guys. Hopefully you're feeling it. A little bit of heart rate too, so we're always getting cardio as well. So we're gonna turn around with the anchor point behind us. So this might be a point where you might need to move your straps down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You may or may not need to, maybe to that midpoint, sort of halfway between the handles and the top. And these straps are coming behind, over my shoulders. So I'm here, so we're gonna go into our chest press. So the first thing I want you to do is put one leg forward, doesn't matter which, and you're gonna get an idea. So imagine your chest press that you do with dumbbells. And we're gonna suspend it a little bit. So even though that foot is forward, we're leaning forward, almost like a push-up. Elbows come back, and then push up, hands together. So again, having this foot forward is just gonna give you a little extra support as you're learning, but eventually, we're gonna move that foot back. So we're gonna keep those hands high so those straps aren't rubbing on our shoulders, and we'll still lower, just about to here, guys. What we don't wanna do is hyperextend, so we don't wanna get all the way down here and really hyperextend in those elbows, and we also don't want just our upper body to go. We want your whole body moving forward, so again, if you need that extra foot in the center, just go ahead and put it there. Push through. It's a great way to learn this motion. Sometimes our brains get a little freaked out from here because it feels like we're falling forward, which is exactly what makes our abs work. Well, that's why we love it. But sometimes it's hard for our bodies and our brains. One more right here. And relax. So let's walk one foot forward, walk away from your anchor, hands behind, stretch that out. Good work, guys. We're almost done with our standing exercises. We're going to turn back around. I'm going to show you the T-Rex bicep curl. So hands are up. So imagine your bicep curl that you do with dumbbells from the elbows. Shoulders aren't moving, we're just gonna suspend it. So same thing we did with the row. I'm gonna have you put one foot back, one foot forward, starting here. Elbows are level with the shoulders. Extend low, pull the hands towards your ears. Again, my wrists are staying straight, I'm not curving, and we're here to here. So again, really think about these muscles doing the work. The mistake I see a lot in class is your muscle memory wants to do the row, right? Because we just did this motion here. Those are bigger, stronger muscles. We're gonna keep it up to here. So just down, pull towards the ears. So if you think elbows high, your elbows are level with the shoulders, and that you're pulling towards your ears, that maintains that bicep curl. So you can also move that foot forward, just like we did before, and pull it from here. It's gonna be harder, but work your way up to that starts to feel like too much, you can always move that foot back. Nice job, guys. Same idea. If you need to make it harder, walk those feet forward, increase the angle. Easier, walk it back. Good job. All right. Moving on, TRX lunge. So we do these lunges all the time, right? We do them in every workout we do. We love lunges. Every trainer loves lunges. So we're going to do them with the TRX. Start in your regular lunge position, so one foot forward, one foot back, doesn't matter which one. Again, elbows are slightly bent, looking at your ankle point, and drop down. So, what's nice is that a lot of people on lunges have a little bit of problem with balance, right? It's a lot of balance because you're up on that back toe, abs have to work hard, so sometimes that's difficult. The T-Rex gives you help with that. So, again, nice light grip. We're not leaning on them for dear life. We're not pulling up with them, but we're just here. So let's add on. So we can take this lunge, add a little knee coming up. Lunge it back, knee coming up. Just here to here. So tapping it down if you need to, but what we're working our way up to is keeping it off the ground, right? Woo, there we go, there's those abs. Again, you should feel a, lot, a little off balance. So it's up to you. I want you to start in that regular and then work your way up to a little bit of a moving lunge, forward and back. 
and then work your way up to completely off the ground, not touching back. Let's go one more. Good, and you can feel heart rate's getting up as well, right? Let's go with that other leg. So starting one foot forward, one foot back. Starting with your basic, just sit low, push up. Stationary lunge, just using these for a little bit of help with balance. And again, use it to get low. Sometimes in our lunges, we wanna cheat them because we can't get as low because of the balance. Straps are great for that. And then let's take it to that moving lunge. Bring it up, I'm gonna slide back a little, drop it down, tap it down in the back. Bring it up. And then as you're ready, progress to taking it off the ground. And again, what's nice, is you always have the option to drop it down if you need to. So sometimes I do that in class. I do a couple without, then I'm really feeling my balance. I tap it down. Let's go two more. And one more. Excellent, guys. One more standing, and then we're down on the mat. So turning it here, I'm gonna take those hands out in front. So similar position as our chest press. Hands out in front. We're gonna start with one foot forward just to give you an idea. And this is your tricep press. So tricep extension, like you would do maybe with the rope or lying on your back with dumbbells. Same idea here. So elbows are in, hands are up, and I'm gonna slowly lower my forehead towards the back of my hands. So with that foot forward, that's giving a little bit of support, again, so our brain doesn't feel like we're falling on our face. And then as you're ready, take that foot back, keep those hands high, and bend here to here. Same principles as the chest press. What we don't wanna do is hyperextend, get way too low, that feels like too much in our elbows, and we don't wanna just have just our upper body go. We want the whole body coming forward, lots of abs, push it back. Feels like too much, just take that foot forward, still concentrate on those triceps, and you'll really feel it. So again, our muscle memory sometimes wants to go into the chest press on this, because that's what you just did, and it's easier, stronger muscles, but we wanna keep them high, elbows in, push it forward. Let's go one more, guys, and relax. So walk it out. So I'm gonna show you first how we adjust our straps, and then we're gonna go down to the mat. So, again, pull up or push in on the buckle, whichever version you have, and we want these straps to be maybe about six or eight inches off the ground, maybe a little higher. I tell my class to have the handles maybe right about the knees and the cradles about mid-calf. So that's usually about right. When you get down, you'll see that it kind of measures with where your foot comes up or your foot is flat on the ground. But for now, let's move them down to where handles are at the knees, cradles are at mid-calf. Go ahead and do that and I'll meet you down. Okay, so we're down on the mat with our straps adjusted. So, as you can tell, my feet are here and the cradles of the straps are just above that. That's just about right. And if you need to adjust, you always can do that as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is a T-Rex hip press. So work in the hamstrings and glutes. So, I'm gonna slide in close. I'm gonna have two fingers in the cradles. I'm gonna roll back and I'm gonna put my heels in the cradles. So I'm gonna start with those knees in. So it's just like your regular bridge that you've probably done in other classes, hands by the side. And I'm just gonna lift my hips to the ceiling and down. And you're gonna feel it pretty intensely in the back of those legs, really tight. Also strengthening the back of the knees. So just take your time. It's gonna feel really wobbly and that's why it works. And it almost feels like your feet aren't in anything. I know it's kind of a weird sensation, but just keep pushing to the ceiling lift and lower. And this is a tough exercise because again, most of us are naturally tight in our hips. Maybe not naturally, maybe it's earned from sitting in the car, sitting at the desk. But this is a great exercise to really increase that strength and flexibility. So just keep lifting, maybe one more. And then let's straighten those legs out. So I can just move my feet out. If you've got a door in your way, you may have to slide back a little bit. And then another version of that is just the full bridge. So here, straight legs, I'm gonna lift my hips, bring the knees in, push them out, drop them down. So just another version. I know they're tired. After that, 
but we'll just do a couple of these so you have a feel for it. Bring it in, out, and down. Lift, in. Doing great, guys. Let's get a couple more. And again, getting those hips as high as we can. And relax, good. So maybe bring them out and get a little stretch. So now we are moving into the T-Rex plank. So maybe you've done a million planks in your life. I promise you, if you've never done a T-Rex plank, it will feel different. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways to get into these straps. So either bring them back, I'm gonna cross my right leg over into the left strap, my left leg under into the right strap, and then I'm gonna to turn towards that right leg. So on my knees. That may seem difficult, I'm gonna give you one more way to get in. So two more ways actually. So you can bring these up like you've got dirty socks, roll back, put your feet in the cradles, not in the handles, and then try to just flip right over. Right guys? So then the other version is just, if you're on your knees, reach back and put them in. That's kind of what I usually do. But the first two ways are easier ways. So we're here. My feet are in the straps, my knees are on the ground. We're gonna go into a couple versions of the plank, guys. So we're gonna keep them short because it may feel very new and different to you. You've never done T-Rex, but certainly on your own, you can hold them longer. So let's start with a full plank. So my hands are gonna come underneath the shoulders and I'm just gonna lift my knees up into that plank position. So you'll feel pretty quickly that everything is tougher because we've lost an anchor point with our toes. We just wanna really make sure, guys, that we're right and straight in the center. The mistake I see a lot is this. You'll feel it in your back. That's not good for your back, not working your ex. So really pull that belly button in, holding here. There's obviously a million variations of this. We're just gonna do the hold. So just holding, drop those knees, stretch it back. Good work, guys. You can also do a push-up from that position, mountain climber, so many variations. I love them all, but master the regular plank first. This is very different for your core. So now let's go down to the elbows. Same thing from here, guys. We're on the elbows and just lift up into that plank. So again, really pay attention to your body. We don't wanna let those hips drop. Everything's pulled in. We also don't wanna be up here, but on the T-Rex, the more common mistake we see is the hips dropping. So have everything in in the center. And on your own, guys, I would say just practice, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds. Drop the knees, five seconds rest, come right back into it. There's no need to feel like you have to hold this for a minute the very first time. Relax it down, stretch it up. They're very advanced versions of planks. That's why they work, that's why we love them. But don't worry too much, they feel really tough the first time through, or the second, or the hundredth. So I'm just gonna rotate on my side. So showing you how to get into that if you, your feet came out, is we're gonna come into a side plank. This is the last thing I'm gonna show you today. So my lower leg is gonna be a little bit lower in the straps and behind, my top leg is gonna cross over and in front. So very similar to your side plank, but again, we don't have an anchor point. So use this top hand to give you a little bit of balance and we're just gonna lift up and hold. So again, it's gonna feel really different. Maybe you can't get that high, but really strive to lift those hips, making sure you're breathing. Eventually, as you get stronger, we can have that hand up to the top. Don't feel like you have to do that today. And relax it down. Good, guys. Let's try that one more time. Since we're here, breathing, lift it up and hold. So again, you may swing a little bit. That's okay. That's those abs working. But we just wanna to try to be in alignment here. So I'm making sure that I'm not leaning forward or back. And relax. Good job, guys. Let's do the same thing other side. So obviously I'm gonna turn away from you. That will be okay. Lower leg is gonna go behind. Top leg is gonna go in front. And we're gonna lift and hold. Here we go. Whew, can't really see my clock. So we'll just make a guess. Keep breathing, five seconds. Lifting the hips and relax. Good guys. Here we go, let's go one more time, lifting those hips. So again, on your own, just increase your time, maybe a little bit each time, and work your way up. 
to lifting that arm. And relax. Good work, guys. So there you go. Those are your basics of TRX. Again, there's a million variations of a million exercises, and that's why we love it. There's lots of other videos on this channel, so once you master these basics, go ahead and move on to those. I'm gonna talk you through it just about the same. So while you're here, let's just get a quick little stretch. Let's put those feet out in front and reach it forward into those straps. There's obviously some standing stretching you can do as well. Really press the shoulders down. And bring it up, we'll bring our feet in. Let's just take a little arm across. Roll through that wrist. And other arm across, roll it through. over. Let your head relax into that. Other side. And there you go guys. That was your beginner TRX instructional workout. Great job everybody.